Hello everyone how are you? I hope you fine. In 2022, Simone McGill arrived at the Women's Euros with Northern Ireland full of hope. Here she was, representing her tiny nation in one of world soccer's biggest tournaments. But during the team's opening match against Norway, disaster struck. McGill went down in agony and Northern Ireland fans held their breaths. She had suffered a dreaded anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, injury. I knew what it was right away, McGill told CNN Sport. It was devastating. There were a million thoughts going through my head when it happened. I was thinking about how long I'd be out for, how long the recovery would take, about needing surgery, and there were lots of tears. McGill wasn't the only player to have her tournament ruined by the devastating knee injury. Fast forward to the upcoming Women's World Cup, which starts on July 20 in Australia and New Zealand, and a host of the game's best players will also be absent because of an injury which appears to be endemic in the women's game. England captain Leah Williamson, the Netherlands' all-time leading women's scorer Vivian Miedema and England's Euro 2022 top scorer Beth. Mead will all miss the biggest international competition in the women's game. Kat Macario, a rising star for the U.S. women's national team, USWNT, is also out, as is Germany's Julia Gwynn, named the best young player at the 2019 Women's World Cup, and Switzerland's teenage midfielder Iman Bani, ruled out a day after being called up to the national team. During the 2022-23 season, so many female soccer players across Europe's top leagues suffered ACL injuries that an entire starting 11 could be made up of those individuals. But why are so many female soccer players suffering from the same injury?